Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be telling a story, which is sort of a prequel to the Cornfield story. Um, it's pretty funny. Uh, me and my friend were kind of pissed off about this happening. I might, you know, just involve a little bit before and after the events, and I might even go more in-depth into that night. But, you know, we should just get right into that story time. So So the story time goes a little bit back into, I think it was the summer of 2017 or 2016. And so um, it was a young, spry Corvo, along with his friend Alex. Alex from the Cornfield story. This actually happened the same night as the Cornfield story. I thought that was a little bit interesting and a little bit of lore in this universe. It's a prequel, so that's what the story is. So um, we're, we're chilling in the basement. We're probably playing some video games. Um, so, I'm, might be, I, I really don't remember, but, um, we are playing video games or we are watching a movie, and so I say, hey, Hunter, you want to go out and get some snacks for, to, you know, eat on, because it's going to be a pretty long sleepover, um, and he was like, yeah, sure, dude, and, um, so we start walking out, we're, uh, we walk, we're going through the, like, these tall ass grass fields, um, and that rhymes, so we're going through the fields, and my friend Hunter, we're talking, and so we're, we arrive at the gas station. Um, I think I got a package of Rolos and some uh, brisk iced teas, and he probably got some Kit Kats or something like that. It was something along the lines of that. And so after that, we just we walk out, we're walking, and so we're talking, and we're going back through the field and so we're walking back to my house and my friend hunter says he's like oh i feel really itchy and i'm like whatever man it's probably just like the wheat or something because you know how it can be um it can be itchy you know it can be all that kind of stuff and so um he's like dude i, I swear there might be some fucking insects on me and i'm like no dude don't worry it's probably not the case if it was you'd be freaking out a lot more because my friend hunter he does not like insects he's not he does not like any of that um turns out this night did not make him like it any like it them any more because what actually ended up happening was we went home we went back to my place and so he's like dude I, we should ask your mom if like we have takes on us or something and i'm like okay fine whatever let's go do that and so we go over my mom starts checking us out, and she's like, oh, yeah, you guys, you guys have, like, fucking takes on yours and shit. Uh, she doesn't say that, those exact words. I'm just trying to say, like, you know, what was going down. And so after that, we, um, we start freaking out naturally. Um, so we go upstairs, we shower, um, we change into some clothes. He had an extra pair of clothes. And so that night, because we didn't go up to ask my mom to check us for a little bit, that night when we went upstairs, um, we went upstairs, we got checked out, then we showered, and so once we went back downstairs, we're like, okay, don't go on that futon, don't go on that blanket, that shit was there, nobody wants to be on there, don't do it, and like we were both like, okay, swear, don't get on those, don't climb on those, don't do anything like that, and I'm like, okay, man, I won't, I swear. And so that later that night, we're just completely avoiding the blankets and all that shit. And um, that wasn't a very fun night. Nobody enjoyed it. Um, that night was definitely interesting. But um, I thought it was interesting. I felt like you guys would enjoy the story. So I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, make sure you like and subscribe and that shit. Uh, peace out.